All right, this is all about proportional relationships and graphs. We're going to find out how you can use graphs to represent and analyze proportional relationships on page 129. So we have this equation, y equals 5x, and it represents the relationship between the number of gallons of water used, which is y, and the number of minutes, x, for the most shower heads manufactured before 1994. Explain why the relationship is proportional. How does, okay, so how, why is the relationship proportional? Well, the equation is in the form of y equals kx. See, we can see this here, y equals k, which is 5x. See, it's in that form. Okay, how does the equation represent the constant of proportionality? Well, the shower head delivers water at a steady rate of 5 gallons per minute. k is 5. Okay, so we're going to complete the table. So, uh, k is 5. So that means that uh, 5 gallons for one minute. Let's double that. So we'll double this. This is 10. We'll triple this. So this 5 gets tripled to 15. All right. Uh, 5 goes into 35 seven times. So that's 1 times 7. That must be 7 then. And then 1 times 10 is 10. So 5 times 10 is 50. Okay, we got all that information there. So we'll write this. And now remember, the first row is the x values and the second row is the y values in each table. So we have an ordered pair. And these ordered pairs, the first number is the x number and the second number is the y number. So we, we see the uh, 1, 5, 1, 5. So 2, 10, 2, 10. 3, 15, 3, 15. And this is 735, 735, and 1050, 1050. So we're going to plot the ordered pairs. Uh, 1, 5, x is the horizontal right here, and uh, y is the vertical. So 1, 5, 1, 5, that would be right there. 2, 10, 2, 10, okay. 3, 15, 3, 15. Uh, 735, so 7 and 35 is right here. And uh, 10 and 50, 10 and 50. Okay, well look at that. Uh, if the shower head is used for zero minutes, how many gallons of water will be used? Well, that's zero. Second question, what ordered pair represents this situation? Well, that would be zero, zero zero minutes. And, and even though we don't have a dot there, what we could do is we can have this line here. We could draw this line connecting these and that would put us at a new point at zero, zero right there. And then uh, what is the location called right there? It's called the origin, zero, zero. If the shower head is used for a minute, how many gallons of water will be used? Well, one minute, five gallons. So five gallons. What ordered pair represents the situation? It was this, 1, 5, right there, so 1, 5. And what does this point represent? Well, 1, 5 is our constant of proportionality. That is our unit rate. And I wanted to re uh, return to that, uh, make a Venn diagram. Remember that ratios, oh my god, I have this totally backwards. Um, whoopsie, this is in real time right now. So we have uh, a ratio would be something like 12 divided by 2. Okay, and a rate is that ratio with labels on it, like inches per hour. And then the unit rate would be that simplified. The denominator always is one in a unit rate. So that would be six inches in one hour. So that is the relationship. And so uh, the unit rate is a special type of rate, which is a special type of ratio. Okay, so uh, here, uh, the concept of proportionality or our unit rate, five gallons per minute. Uh, if you continue the table to include 23 minutes, uh, would the point 23 and 125 be on this graph? Well, I would take 23 and multiply it by five to find out what the y value would be. And 23 times five is 115, not 123. So no, it would not be on the graph. Okay. On the back. Identifying proportional relationships. Well, in addition to the table, you can also graph these things and these relationships. And a relationship is a proportional, a 
The relationship is a proportional relationship if the graph is a straight line through the origin. So that is big. It's a straight line, a straight line through the origin. I even make a note of that here, straight line through the origin. So this table shows the relationship between the amount charged by a house cleaning company in dollars and the amount of time it worked in hours. Is a relationship a proportional relationship? So we have each x, y value here, and we're going to write that in uh, ordered pairs. So the first one, uh, x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. And we have uh, 145, okay, 290, 3, 135. We have each of these ordered pairs here. They correspond to the table here. And then 1 and 45 is there, and 2 and 90 here. 3 and 135, 3 and 135, that's that dot right there. No, 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 3. 3 and 135 is right, that one. And 5 and 225, 5 and 225 is here. I'm going to go up a little bit more here. And uh, 8 and 360, 8 and 360 is that dot right there. So does it make a straight line? Yeah. Is When you connect these, will that line go through the origin? Yes. This is a proportional relationship. So this graphically shows us that the entire relationship is proportional. Also, the unit rate is 45. Or the, and also, the unit rate is also known as the constant of proportionality. That's the rate of change. Wow, there's so much right there. So uh, the rate of ch charges, $45 per hour. And when, we when we're writing an equation, y equals kx, our equation would then be y equals 45x. You notice that rate of change, constant of proportionality, all the same thing. So Jared rents bowling shoes for $6 and pays $5 per bowling game. Is a relationship a proportional relationship? And explain. So uh, he, uh, he, he pays $6 and then $5 per game. So this 11 is the 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5. So there it is. If you play two games... Two games is the $6 for renting the shoes plus $10 because you're playing two games. See, that's how you get the 16 right there. And then this would be 6 plus uh, 15 because it's three games plus the shoes. And then this would be 6 plus um, 20 for four games. Okay, so uh, let's see. 1, 11. So I have to graph this. 1 and 11 is somewhere around here. And uh, 2 and 16, 2 and 16, something like uh, that. 3 and 21, okay. 4 and 26, 4 and 26, something like this. And I will draw these through, but if I extend this, it doesn't look like it's going to go through the origin. So no, the line does not pass through the origin. This is not a proportional relationship. The rate of change is the same. The rate of change is 5 but it's not proportional. Okay, next we have this. And we are analyzing graphs. Oops, sorry. I was just kidding. Yeah, 131. Haha, -ha, that was a joke. Uh, recall that you can describe a proportional relation between the uh, uh, graph uh, y equals kx, constant of proportionality k, that tells you how steep the line is. So the greater the absolute value of K, you the steeper the line you got. So we have this graph. Shows the relationship between time and minutes and number of miles Damon runs. And you're going to write an equation for this relationship. So choose a point on the graph. So we're going to choose the point 25 and 2.5. So 25 and 2.5. So that one right there. And um, so... Represents the distance, 2.5 miles, and Damon runs in 25 minutes. What is the constant of proportionality? Well, you take the uh, y value, which is 2.5, over the x value, 25. And remember, the y value, those are the these numbers right here. So the y value over the x value right there. And uh, so, and then you write your equation. Uh, that simplifies to one-tenth. So this is our equation right here. What does the point zero, zero on the graph represent? Well, if you travel zero miles, you'll, you'll travel zero, you will travel zero miles in zero minutes. And one and one and tenth, well, you're gonna travel one tenth of a mile in one minute. That's what this order pair means right here because the X value is the minutes. 
and the y value, that second number, is the uh, distance, the miles. Okay, suppose you drew a graph representing the relationship y equals 1 8 x between time in minutes and number of miles. Esther runs. How could the graph be compared for Damon? Well, Esther, her rate of change is 1 8th, and Damon's rate of change is 1 10th, and 1 8th is bigger than 1 10th. You could do this you to compare, to figure out which one's bigger. You could do this. You can cross multiply. 10 times 1 is 10. 8 times 1 is 8. And since 10 is bigger than 8, 1 8 is bigger than 1 tenth. So Esther's graph is going to be steeper because her rate of change, her k, is steeper. Use the equation to find how far Damon runs in 40 minutes. So our equation, going back to the equation, uh, the equation was y equals 1 tenth x. So I use that over here, y equals 1 tenth x. And uh, so 40 minutes. And minutes is our x value right here. So 1 tenth times 40 is 40 over 10, which is 4 miles. So in 40 minutes, he'll travel 4 miles. Now, I'll use that same equation here, but now we're finding how much time uh, would take him to run 7.5 miles. So the y is the distance. And remember, if you want to go back to this too, the y is the distance and the x is the time in minutes. 7.5 miles times 10. Uh, I'm multiplying by 10 because this is uh, times one tenth, and if you bring it to the other, if you bring it to the other side of the equal sign, you have to use the reciprocal. So seven point five times ten is seventy five. So it take you seventy five minutes. The graph shows a relationship between the distance a bicyclist travels in the time in hours. So here we go. What does the point forty comma sixty represent? Of 40, 4 and comma 60. So 4 hours, you can travel 60 miles. So 60 miles in 4 hours. What's the constant of proportionality? Well, I would take, uh, I could take 60 and 4. So 60 divided by 4 is, uh, I think, 15. So 15. Uh, there it is. Constant of proportionality is 15. And write the equation, y equals kx, so y equals 15x. And there it is, our equation for the proportional relationship.